today's topic of discussion is anemia uh, what is anemia how to define anemia anemia is defined as a reduction of total circulating red cell mass below normal limit so normal limit 4.5 to 5.5 million per deciliter so here reduction of total circulating red cell mass below that normal limits in practice the measurement of red cell mass is not easy and anemia is usually diagnosed based on the reduction in hemoglobin concentration so t that rbc mass is directly proportional to hemoglobin if hemoglobin mass decreases means rbc mass also reduced anemia is defined as reduced hemoglobin concentration in blood below the lower limit of normal range of any age and sex of the individual so how to define anemia is reduced hemoglobin concentration in the blood below the lower limit of normal range for the age and sex of the individual the lower extreme of normal hemoglobin is taken as 13 g per deciliter for males 11.5 g per deciliter for females 15 g per deciliter for newborns that level lower in case of female that newborn a lower 15 means anemia in the case of female this range 11.5 g per deciliter lower means anemia in case of male 13 g per deciliter lower means they affected from anemia now clinical features and the symptoms of anemia uh, clinical features for uh, common for all type of anemia because rbc mass less okay rbc mass less hemoglobin level decreases hemoglobin required oxygen for transport oxygen uh is less in body so less amount of atp so all type of anemia tiredness easy fatigability then muscular weakness then lethargy uh, these are the common uh, symptoms okay here one more important things pallor pallor is that most common and characteristic sign because of that mucous membrane and conjunctiva skin become pale okay normally these are the things having pink color because of inadequate hemoglobin less pink color so white white color in our eyes here conjunctiva tongue and the skin become whitish main symptoms of anemia pallor so it will affected ocular region a reproductive system also then gastrointestinal system then uh, now we will discuss main important classification of anemias how classify anemia by two ways one is morphological uh, it only having three types then pathophysiological it having multiple types so in morphological based on their size and the color we classified into microcystic or hypochromic then normocystic or normochromic microcystic or normochromic these are the three main type of anemia 
here uh, we are using two new terms cystic cystic means size chrome means color so based on the size and the color uh, that means morphology we classified into microcystic hypochromic normocystic normochromic macrocystic normochromic anemias how to identify that anemia uh, say for example this patient having symptoms like lethargy fatigue weakness so here we want to identify total complete blood count cpc hemoglobin range uh, below 7 we know already uh, that uh, a normal male female newborn range so here decreases uh, 7 gram per deciliter means we want to identify what type of pneumonia so here we will do blood smear okay in this one uh, we have we identified three different size and the color of cells the person is anemic which anemia we can measure all the rbc uh, whether 7 or um, uh, less than 7 7 or more ok so 7 because lymphocytes is 7 mm so uh, lymphocytes normally normal size and the color uh, that lymphocytes is 7 like that only normal rbc also 7 micrometer 7 micrometer that center part uh, one third white also center one third is the white that is pallor then peripheral this peripheral two third filled with hemoglobin so red and or pink color red or pink color this one is the normal size by using this one we will compare that size because lymphocytes also um, seven uh, so here normal rbc also seven by using this color and this size we can compare on blood smear lot of lymphocytes also presented okay so they also presented on rbc lymphocytes also 7 mm we can compare the size crossly we can compare of rbc it uh, it vary because different type of anemia it vary it may be uh, size will decrease as 7 means microcystic uh, equal to 7 means normo uh, cystic then uh, more than 7 means macrocystic here size and color are decreases here size and color are normal normal size but patient have anemia this one increases size patient have anemia microcytic uh, hypochromic anemia that uh, mean corpuscular volume mean corpuscular hemoglobin volume mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration all are reduced here example of microcystic hypochromic anemia iron deficiency anemia and uh, some non iron deficiency anemia example sideroplastic anemia thalassemia anemia of chronic disorders second one is normocystic and normochromatic anemia this uh, mean corpuscular volume mean corpuscular hemoglobin mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration all are normal uh, example after acute blood loss because of accident hemolytic anemias bone marrow failure anemia of chronic disorders in in macrocystic normochromic anemia mcv is raised example of this anemia megaloplastic anemia due to deficiency of vitamin b12 or folic acid so classification of anemia microcystic normocystic macrocystic anemia so, this microcystic anemia example sideroplastic anemia iron deficiency anemia thalassemia anemia of chronic diseases normocystic this one further classified into 
reticulocytes count reticulocyte uh, count is important in diagnostic it is reflection of the amount of effective rbc production taking place in that bone marrow reticulocytes count is very important the amount of effective rbc production taking taking place in bone marrow so then based on the reticulocyte count high reticulocyte and low reticulocyte count high reticulocyte count example sickle cell anemia hereditary spirocytosis autoimmune hemolytic anemia then paroxysmal paroxysmal noctumal paroxysmal noctumal hemoglobin urea hemoglobin urea then enzyme deficiency most common glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency so high reticulocyte count they classified sickle cell anemia hereditary spirocytosis autoimmune hemolytic anemia paroxysmal noctumal hemoglobin urea then enzyme deficiency most common glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency then uh, low reticulocytes count uh, renal failure anemia of chronic disease then myelofibrosis then cancer metastasis or leukemias then last one is that macrocytic anemias example here liver disease as alcoholic then hypothyroidism then megaloblastic anemia due to deficiency of folic acid and vitamin b12 deficiency cytotoxic tracts so these are the three important classification of anemias and their examples second important classification based on their etiological or pathophysiological classification Uh, three causes of anemia here are uh, rbc also hemoglobin also uh, that level will decrease uh, so first one is blood loss blood loss if uh, accident uh, that normally human having 5 liter 2 liter loss because of trauma blood level decreases means rbc level also decrease so rbc loss means hemoglobin level also decreases blood loss two type of blood loss one is acute another one is chronic acute means suddenly in accident drama or surgery chronic daily small amount of blood loss because of peptic ulcer hemorrhoid and menopause second type uh, decreased production of Uh, this one bone marrow okay uh, decreased production in bone marrow because of some problem decreased production production not taking place properly so uh, this one overall rbc low level of production so overall rbc level decrease means hp level decrease it will causes anemia so decreased production inside bone marrow hematopoietic stem cells that formation will happen here it will affected so uh, because of cytoplasmic defect cytoplasm containing heme uh, hemoglobin heme affected globulin also affected so heme affected means it causing iron deficiency anemia sideroblastic anemia anemia of chronic disease globulin uh, defected mean thalassemia then nuclear defect uh, that dna it ca having adenine guanine cytosine and thymine defect means it causes um, megaloblastic anemia last one is st uh, stem cell production defect because of radiation it will affect it will causes a plastic anemia then uh, first one is blood loss second one is decreased production of that uh, bone marrow decreased production next one is increased destruction normal production will happen but increased destruction destruction takes place in reticulo 
endothelial system of our liver that is specially uh, that is spleen okay so um, increase destruction it will causes anemia